morning. I'd like to welcome the parents and family here for the seniors. Uh, today we will recognize all the seniors uh, for the class of 2023 for receiving scholarships and other various awards. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our first presenter, Mr. Jim Morse. I'm Jim Morris, Secretary of the local Hoyden Masonic Lodge, and we give out the VC and Amelia Rao Scholarship, or Memorial Scholarship. It was set up by the VC Rao family following the death of Mr. Rowe in 1974. His wife, Amelia, and daughters, Gwen and Corliss, wanted him to be remembered for his dedication to education, especially in Hoyden. They set aside a monetary amount and wanted the proceeds of that amount to be applied to his scholarship for a Hoisington graduating senior girl or boy to further their education. <clears throat> Mr. Rao arrived in Hoisington in 1938 and shortly became principal at Roosevelt Grade School. In 1942, he transferred as principal to the Hoisington Junior High, which was immediately west of the present high school. Mr. Rao retired from his position in 1971 after over 30 years in the Hoisington education. He passed away in 1974 here in Hoisington. <clears throat> in 1977, his family asked that a scholarship be given in his and his wife Amelia's name to a needy and deserving graduating senior from Hoisington High to be used at his alma mater schools of K-State and Fort Hayes Universities. The first scholarship was researched and set up through the Kansas Masonic Foundation via the Masonic Lodge of Hoyden, in which Mr. Rao was a longtime member. The, that first scholarship was presented in the spring of 1978 and has pre been presented every year since that time. In the early years, there were several years in which more than one scholarship was presented, but currently only one scholarship is presented. <clears throat> Applications for this scholarship are available through the high school guidance and counseling services and the selection is made generally in April of the graduating year of the applicant to begin in the fall of the freshman year at one of the two state universities. And today I'd like to present today's recipient, Taylor Hitchman. privilege of presenting the Masonic Essay Contest winner. Uh, every year the Masonic uh, statewide has an essay contest for all high schools in the state of Kansas. And the local chapters have a winner and then that winner goes on to the state. We, we forward it to the state. And uh, this year our Hoisman winner didn't do any good in the state but we'd like to present Courtney Lang with this year's. Art Gruber attended Hoisington High School before dropping out and to enlist in the U.S. Navy on December 23, 1940. He was stationed on the USS Tennessee in Pearl Harbor when the United States was attacked on December 7, 1941. After serving in the military, Art went on to have a successful career in the oil industry. Despite his successful career, his biggest regret was not receiving his high school diploma. In May of 2016, Art walked across the stage with the senior class and received an honorary diploma from Hoisington High School. It was one of his proudest moments. I'm his daughter, and I can tell you, he walked on the 
water for months after that. It is my privilege and honor to give this year's uh, recipient to Easton Radetzky. Gary Bubba Smith Memorial Scholarship uh, was set in memory of Gary Bubba Smith who passed away a few years ago. His family donated a lot of money uh, to carry on his name in, in a memorial scholarship. Uh, these, this year's recipients are Chase Steinert and Jayla Wyant. Both are 500 each. I'm Aaron Spanier, and I'm here to present on behalf of Innovative Livestock Services. Uh, one of the core values of Innovative Livestock Services is personal development. Personal development is a lifelong process of acquiring knowledge, skills, and experience for the purpose of enhancing individual performance. Education is a part of this process and is one of the best investments we can make in our development. Innovative Livestock Services would like to be a part of this process by offering financial assistance to the children of our employees. In part of, the pledge, in part of our pledge of giving back, children of every full-time ILS employee receive a full-year renewable scholarship for education beyond high school, including trade school, community college, four-year university, and any other aspect of education that they would like to inspire. We also invite all the high school graduates to participate in a competitive scholarship program in addition to the guaranteed award. Above and beyond the standard scholarship that is given out, there are two premium scholarships that are awarded to outstanding students in the area of academics and community involvement. I'm proud to stand here today and present one of our two premium scholarships. The recipient of this premium scholarship is Sean Ingram. The amount of that premium scholarship is $1,500, by the way. We like to do things a little backwards, so I'm going to call up my kids at the beginning. So Haley Bonham DeBolt, Raina Bray, Destiny Hughes, Caitlin Keller, and Wyatt Woodjack, please come to the stage. Barton County Upward Bound is a federally grant-funded program that's been hosted by Barton Community College since 1999. BCA prides itself on serving students from diverse backgrounds who aspire to complete a college degree. Students attending high schools located in Ellenwood, Great Bend, and Hoisington work year-round in preparation for their eventual college success. The Upward Bound program concentrates on building success by improving academic skills and involving high school students in activities that will expose them to careers, educational institutions, and broaden their worldviews. The completion of the Barton County Upward Bound program entitles each of these students to a three-year books and tuition scholarship at Barton Community College. These students on stage have spent the last few years working towards this very moment. Becca and I have had the privilege to watch these five young people grow into the bright and capable adults that stand before you, and it is our honor to recognize them as the 2022 graduates of the Barton County Upward Bound program. They'll join the rest of their Upward Bound graduating class this Saturday at our annual banquet for further recognition. Congratulations, seniors. Yeah. 
Go get your stuff on Saturday. You can go. <laughs> Good morning. The Community Women's Club is an organization in Hoisington that helps with various community events that raises money to give back to the community. To apply for the Community Women's Club scholarship, you must be a Hoisington High School female that is planning to attend Barton County Community College in the fall. This scholarship is renewable up to two years at Barton County Community College and the student must be enrolled in 12 or more credit hours and maintain a 2.0 GPA. This year's recipient is Kiana Grandclair. Class of 1946 and 1953 scholarships. Uh, this scholarship was made possible by the sale of the Sands and Painting that was donated to the district by the class of 1946. The painting was given to the district in memory of Charles Ray Harper and Jack Cox. The class of 1953 also gave a Sands and Painting to the district in memory of Charles E. Lane. The paintings were sold and these scholarships were provided by the interest uh, received from those invested funds. This year's recipient of the 1946 scholarship is Jayla Wyant. The recipient of the 1953 scholarship is Chase Steiner. And these scholarships are Thank you. In 2010, the USD 431 Educational Foundation held their first annual scholarship golf tournament. They now award seniors that have a 3.5 GPA for the first seven semesters of high school with a scholarship ship if they wish to further their education after high school. Students receiving the scholarships this year are Kenley Crowdus, Yeah, that'd be great. Kyler Zarnick. Kendall Dalton. Leighton Haxton, Ava Henry, Taylor Hitchman, Sean Ingram, Courtney Lang, Addie Mason, Kyle Rogers, Chase Steiner, Sydney Strong, Emma Willison, and Jayla Wyant. The Bickle Educational Foundation from the USD 431 Educational Foundation is awarded in order to receive the Bickle Education Foundation Scholarship. You must be planning on attending Fort Hayes State University or NCK Tech at the Hayes location. 
This year's recipients are Danielle Davis, Chase Steinert, and Taylor Hitchman. Back to that Education Foundation scholarship that went to uh, seniors with a cumulative GPA of at least a 3.5, and we had 24 seniors receive that. That's pretty impressive. The Crush Scholarship, uh, Lee Van Syke, Secretary and Treasurer of the Board, indicated that Mr. Crush accepted his first teaching job in Hoisington in 1916, teaching German and history. In 1919, he entered the military service and then returned to Hoisington to accept the position of high school principal. In 1925, he accepted the position of superintendent, a position he held for 34 years. He was also very active in the community during this time. Over $320,000 in scholarships has been awarded to Hoisin High School graduates since its inception in 1962. We have several recipients, all of them worth $500. Danielle Davis. Emma Williston. They're not in order. Haley Bonham DeBolt. Jayla Wyatt. Courtney Lang. Sydney Strong. Taylor Hitchman. And Elliot Kopp. Coca-Cola scholarships. The Coca-Cola company has generously offered to give a percentage of the total sales of their Coke products from Hoisin School District in the form of scholarships. Students must have completed their sixth and seventh semesters at HHS and be enrolled in both semesters their senior year. Students must also be involved in at least one student activity. We have two recipients of the Coca-Cola scholarship, Emma Williston and Jayla Wyant. C.C. Hardy Scholarship. C.C. Hardy was principal of Hoisin High School for almost 40 years, from 1925 to 1964, and a resident of Hoisington for 55 years. When C.C. Hardy came to Hoisington in 1925, he taught psychology and economics, coached all boys sports at the high school, and was athletic director as well as principal. His 14-year coaching record was outstanding. He continued his athletic director as athletic director for 30 years and continued to teach an economics and psychology class almost until his retirement. C.C. Hardy graduated from a high school in Seneca, Missouri. He earned a bachelor's from the University of Kansas in 1925 and a master's from the University of Colorado in 1934. In honor of their passion for education and their commitment to the students from Hoisin High School, their children established the C.C. and Delia Hardy Honor Award in 1982. This endowed award has encouraged the highest ranking graduating senior to choose the University of Kansas every year since 1982. The names of the students honored appear on the plaque in Hoisin High School. C.C. and Delia Hardy moved from Hoisington to Hutchinson in 1980 
He passed away in 1990 at the age of 91. She passed in 1994 at the age of 85. And this year's C.C. Hardy recipient is Haley Bonham DeBolt. Rock chalk. <laughs> Garrett Blasey Memorial Scholarship is offered to any graduating Hoisington High School senior who plans to attend college or a trade school upon high school graduation. Students applying must have an overall GPA of 2.5 or above and be considered to, be, to maintain good character within the school district and community. The scholarship is currently funded by the profits from the gumball machine generously donated by the Hoisington High School Student Council located in the red zone of the second floor of the high school. In 2015, the class of 2015 donated part of their class funds to the scholarship so the scholarship could continue to be available to Hoisington High School seniors. Amounts and numbers available of scholarships are determined yearly according to the revenue received. The idea of funding higher education using profits from the gumball machine came from Garrett in the fall of 2006 when he was trying to find, a, find ways to pay for his own college education upon graduation. Wanting to become a helicopter pilot, Garrett found that the expense for college was as well as flight school and it were enormous and knew that he needed to find creative ways for paying for education. So he decided that adding a gumball machine to the local school would help to bring in much needed cash as the quarters added up fast to dollars for school. He began researching this idea when he was stopped short in November 2006 by a sudden 16-day battle with cancer. Garrett lost the battle in December, on December 5, 2006, but his idea for funding continuing education was passed on by his peers and implemented in 2006 by the members of the Hoisington High School Student Council. This year's recipient is Elliot Cobb. Throw it. I got to throw it. Congratulations, sir. The Joan Park Memorial Scholarship is in memory of former Hoisington High School business teacher Joan Parks. All Hoisington High School seniors who have a 3.0 or higher are eligible to apply for the scholarship. Emphasis is given to students who have an interest in pursuing a career in business or education. Consideration is also given to students who have a strong high school background in science or math. This year's recipient is Addie Mason. Superior Essex is a strong supporter of education in this community and is happy to award this year's scholarship recipients, Jayla Wyant, Emma Williston, and Taylor Hitchman. Hoisington High School hosted a spring and fall blood drive. A total of 36 units was collected, saving up to 108 lives. The recipient of this scholarship organized the blood drives and helped with recruiting donors. She volunteered throughout the drives to ensure they were running smoothly. By collecting 36 units of blood, this qualified her for a $250 scholarship. This year's recipient is Sydney Strong.
Cletus Kaiser is a 1973 graduate of Hoisington High School. He retired from a long career as a research and development engineer. His education from Hoisington High School enabled him to live a good life. This scholarship is to assist the students to follow their dream and be successful in their life ahead. The recipients of the Cletus Kaiser Scholarship must either attend Barton Community College or plan to pursue a degree in engineering. This year's recipients for $500 is Jayla Wyant. This scholarship is a donation on behalf of Michael Earl Hickey, class of 35, Mary Lorraine Hickey Earnhardt, class of 36, Patrick Leon Hickey, class of 43, and Charles Jean Hickey, class of 45. This year's recipient is Sydney Strong. Harold and Viola Warner Foundation created this scholarship to recognize students for their high academics. To apply, the student must be in the top 5% of their senior class, must be in good standing, and must be an active member of at least one organization, club, or activity during their senior year. This year's recipient is Emma Willisden. Scholarships for the Forest and Rose Or Scholarship Fund have amounted to over $95,000 since it was established in 1991. This year's two recipients are Taylor Hitchman and Ava Henry. The Hoisington High School Booster Club offers a scholarship to high school seniors. Applicants must be going to a four-year college, have participated in at least one club and one or more activities all four years of high school, as well as participated in community service. This year's two recipients are Courtney Lang and Chase Steinert. Um, the next scholarship is the Barton County Farm Bureau. Applicants must be a high school senior whose parents or legal guardians are current Barton, Barton County Farm Bureau members. They must have a cumulative GPA of 2.5 or higher. Scholarships um, recipients must be full-time college students with a minimum of 12 hours per semester, may be attending a four-year university community college or vocational school. This is a renewable scholarship, and the recipient is Courtney Lang. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> 
The next scholarship is the Hagen Scholarship. The Hagen Scholarship is a nationwide need-based merit scholarship designed to help high-achieving students graduate college debt-free. The scholarship provides up to $6,000 each semester for up to eight consecutive semesters. The scholarship also provides recipients with a practical understanding of important life skills not typically covered in the school curriculum via free workshops, um, a swab brokerage accounts, and study abroad. Hagen scholarships cur currently attend colleges and universities in 47 states. And the Hagen scholarship was given to Ava Henry. Next, we will recognize the Kansas Board of Regents curriculum um, recipients. These students have completed the rigor rigorous course studies while attending Hoisington High School. To be a Kansas Scholar curriculum recipient, they must have done four years of math, four years or four credits of English, three science, which must include chemistry and physics three social studies, and they must complete two foreign language credits. Those who have completed those, let me see, is there? Haley Bonham DeBolt, Ava Henry, Taylor Hitchman, Sean Ingram, <laughs> Addie Mason, uh, Sydney Strong, Emma Wilsden, and Jayla Wyant. Sorry, they're sticking. Thank you. Hang on, hang on, hang on, don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Um, of these, five of these, sorry, a couple of you will leave, sorry. Five of you have been designated Kansas State Scholars, which means your GPA and your ACT score rated you to be um, designated a Kansas State Scholar. So Ava Henry, Inc. Sean Ingram, Addie Mason, Emma Wilsden, and Jayla Wyant will be eligible for a scholarship through them. Congratulations, that's a lot of hard work they did for that. that okay. The Kansas Governor Scholars Award the Governor's Scholars Program has been a time-honored tradition, continuing to recognize extraordinary graduating seniors since 1984. The Governor once said, now that you are on to bigger and better things, I hope you will use your extraordinary skills you have acquired for the next step. While the world, keep, the world keeps evolving, technology keeps revolutionizing, and competition keeps mounting, one thing that remains constant is the benefit of education. By pursuing higher education, your opportunities will be limitless and your contributions will be immeasurable. Congratulations to Emma Williston. <laughs> Emma was invited to a ceremony with the governor. Unfortunately, it's the same day as high school graduation, so. <laughs> Congratulations, Emma. Thank you. Hey, I just stay up here. This next award we don't give out too often. The Kansas ACT Scholar is awarded to high school seniors who achieved a composite score of a 32 or above on the ACT. A perfect score is 36, by the way. So congratulations to Emma Williston for receiving the Kansas ACT Scholar Award. The 
Dale Dennis Excellence in Education Award. This award is given in honor of Dale Dennis, Deputy Commissioner of the Kansas State Department of Education. Mr. Dennis has given many years of service to public education and has provided leadership for financial support and academic excellence in Kansas schools. The student receiving this honor must possess the following characteristics. Citizenship, shows respect for all citizens of the school and community, demonstrates integrity in all situations. Service, is actively involved in school organizations, is involved in community programs or service organizations. Scholarship, demonstrates a strong commitment to academic excellence, is recognized as one who desires to learn beyond the norm. And common sense, demonstrates practical problem solving skills, demonstrates a positive attitude in all situations. And this year's Del Dennis recipient is Jayla Wyant. The Kansas State High School Activities Association Citizenship Award. We have two recipients for this award. They must possess the following characteristics. Show respect. They must show respect at all times for the flag, for the national anthem, and for the Constitution. Shows respect for students and citizens of the school and community. Respects both public and private property. Shows respect for student and adult leaders in school and community. And demonstrates a tolerance and respect for the beliefs and convictions of others. Responsibility demonstrates the willingness to assume citizenship responsibilities in school and community. Works to build school pride through active participation in those projects such as publicize, honor, or beautify the school. Displays good sportsmanship, whether as a participant or spectator, and is friendly toward new students and encourages them to become involved in school activities. And lastly, reverence. School, the student must show reverence, concern, and respect for the well-being of others. This year's two recipients, Addie Mason, Keenly Krauss. Kansas State High School Activities Association Award of Excellence. This award of excellence is for students who shows exemplary display of sportsmanship, ethics, and, and integrity. This is a program of citizenship through sports and fine arts initiative of the National Federation of High School Associations. This award goes to the students who have demonstrated the ongoing support for the total activities program of our school. We have two recipients, Addie Mason, Jayla Wyant. This time we're going to just recognize our students for the scholarships they're receiving from the universities that they will be attending. Um, the list is long, which is awesome. Danielle Davis received an academic scholarship. You guys can just, just stand up where you're at. You don't have to come up here. Um, for $1,500. Taylor Hitchman for Academics 2000 and they will be attending Fort Hay State. Our K-State recipients, Ava Henry received an academic scholarship for $5,900, Courtney Lang for an academic for $1,500, Kyle Rogers for $4,000, and Xander Strandenberg for $2,500. And K-State Polytech, um, Kendall Dalton, academic for $4,600.
46,000, sorry. I read, I missed a zero. Um, for KU, Haley De Bonham DeBolt received a $1,000 academic. Our WSU, Sean Ingram received an academic for 1,500 and Sydney Song Strong, a merit for 12,000 and a DSI for 4,000. I don't know what that is. Um, Jayla Wyant, Missouri Southern that? State University. Sorry, I can't get that one straight. She received an academic scholarship for 4,000. <laughs> Kyler Zarnick, academic 2,500 for Pittsburgh State. Um, Tamari Howard will be going to Barton on a, and receive a band scholarship for $1,300. Where's Tamari? He's not here. Hadley Grand Claire will be going to Linwood and received a $7,000 academic scholarship. Uh, Emma Wilsden is going to Southwestern and she received the Pillars Scholarship, which is equal to 3330. <laughs> yeah, I can't even say that. That's too many threes. She got a tuition scholarship. How about that? Um, Addie Mason will be going to Tabor and she got an academic and a basketball scholarship. I'm not going to total all of it. $2,600. Um, Kinley Crowdis will be going to Cloud. She got an academic scholarship for $2,500 and she will be doing cross country to be determined how much that will be. Um, Bryn Blanc will be going to Northwest Tech on a softball scholarship for $2,000. Raina Bray is going to Missouri Valley on a cheer scholarship for $13,000. Is that all of them? Woo! All right. And that's the ones that re were reported to me. Um, our seniors aren't always great about checking their emails and sharing with me what they're up to. So there may have been more. Um, each year, the KWCH 12 has us nominate a top of the class student, and this year's is Emma Wilsden. Come up. You got to come up for this one. You get a certificate. Good job. I think. Before I present some scholarships, I would like to recognize four students who have completed the KCCTO um, certificate. And what that means is in the early childhood class, they have gone through and they've taken a class to get ready to go out into the world, the workforce. So Zoe Sherelle, Hadley Grand Claire, Kelly Van Ness, and Hannah Smith. Okay, for the FCCLA Shaley Stover Scholarship. Shaley Stover was a member of the graduating class of 2018. She was killed in a car accident on April 17, 2018. Shaley lived life to the fullest and enjoyed helping people of all ages. Shaley was excited to graduate from Hoisin High School and further her education and become a vocal music teacher. While at HHS, Shaley was involved in vocal music and FCCLA. She enjoyed going, on, going to the middle school and helping with the music students there. She was very active in helping with FCCLA activities and loved doing face painting at games and, and activities. She helped with the haunted hall, helped with rec activities. Shaley was a young lady whom, if she had an extra 30 minutes, she came in and helped you. After Shaley's accident, the FCCLA formed the Shaley Silver Memorial Scholarship with the help of donations from the staff and the community members and the class of 2019. The criteria for the scholarship is you must be a graduating senior, be involved in FCCLA and or vocal music, planning on furthering education 
and priority will be given to those who are wanting to become teachers. This year's recipient is Bryn Blanc. FCCLA is active on four levels, local, district, um, state, and national. And we have two district officers for next year. So if you'd stand up when I say your name, Lyrica Orozco will be serving District B. And Madison Gracchi will be serving District B um, officers. <laughs> At the state level, we have Bodhi Selvridge that will be serving as the state peer ed. It was decided years ago to present an award, a scholarship for an FCCLA member for a senior who has been active throughout the years of high school. This year awards goes to Bryn Blanc. Okay, this award is a new one this year. One of the biggest things FCCLA does is community service. Well, sometimes you have those that step in just to help just because. They aren't getting anything out of it, they're just helping. At this time, FCCLA would like to give the community service scholarship for the amount of $200 to Raina Bray. These students have been selected by a jury at FHSU for recognition of excellence in a particular work. Um, we have two more competitions, the CKL, which is the League for Art, at McPherson University tomorrow. And then we also have BCC, the Digital Vortex exhibit that will be posted on May 1st. And you can actually access that yourself. Um, I'll call your names. Josiah Ball. And you may come up here, please. Callie Brown, Hadley Glenn Clare, Addie Guthrie won two awards, Lauren Higgins, Will H H Hutchcraft, Hannah Smith, Molly Steinert won three awards, Paige Schwartz won two awards, Heather Ward, and Kari Cross, although she's no longer at HHS, the jury accepted her work as most of the school year. Thank you for your hard work. The Outstanding Senior Boy and Girl Candidates Introduction. Hoisin High School's Outstanding Senior Boy and Girl Award is a tradition that dates back to 1939. People honored with this award have their name placed on a plaque in the halls at Hoisin High School. To be selected for this award, one must be a member of the National Honor Society. This group of students has been narrowed down by the faculty and staff at Hoisin High School then the student body will 
select the winners that will be announced at graduation on May 7th. The candidates for the Outstanding Senior Girl, Kenley Crowdis, Taylor Hitchman, come on up, Added Mason, Emma Williston, Jayla Wyant. The candidates for the Outstanding Boy, Elliot Kopp, Leighton Haxton, Kyle Rogers, Chase Steiner. Again, graduation is Sunday, May 7th, 2 o'clock at the Activity Center. This concludes our awards banquet. Our total scholarships awarded for the class of 2023 in general scholarships was 83,650. In academic and athletic scholarships was 179,330 for a grand total of 262,980. Congratulations, seniors. Seniors, if you want to stick around and speak with your families, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, we are in Seminar B. Students, you are dismissed. Seminar B. Hey,